RWP is brought to you by Porch Beer Entertainment. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of weird. I don't know how to start the show. Is it kind of like, are we starting now? Are we starting now? I like the, oh, what are you drinking? Is it a little Corona light? No, it's Corona Premier, only two carbs. Two carbs. Wow. Huh? So you've been, uh, before we get into the trail, by the way, I did poke around the um, the website a bit for some other games. Did you find some stories type games? Oh, yeah. So there's also, I'm just making sure we're recording. We are. There's also a uh, jungle trail type game. Um, what? There's multiple versions of the Oregon Trail. There's also some game called Oregon Trail that's like zombie related. Um, Let's... so there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of potential well, here. I, mean... <laughs> I, I don't know, but I think we may become Twitch stars, Twitch YouTube type stars at this point because, I mean, we got nothing else to do except for play games. We're hilarious, obviously, judging by the, excuse me, millions of downloads we've been receiving. Um, yeah. And then look, also look at the list of legends. We're there on number six. Do you see that? Wait, hold on. It'll it'll cycle through. It'll cycle through. Um, Wait, that's from last night. That's yeah, but that's <laughs> anyone who's ever played this game. I, I guess so. I guess we made it. It has my name, but you and I. So Salty Dalton and I, for those who are watching here now and listening, uh, we are. Last night we tested it out. We're playing Oregon Get Trail. Here. There's no fucking way. If you if you if you if you couldn't guess by the uh, name of this episode, the Oregon Trail cast, we're playing Oregon Trail today. Now it's gonna be oh here here's list of legends. Look list at that. number legend. six, number six, number six. Oh my god, dude! Also, who got seven thousand points? Stephen Mink, Stephen Mink, and he is trail guide. It said uh, under next to his name. That means this is a game that. Thousands and thousands of people. Yeah, have we, access we crushed to. it in one night. Like we, we literally, <laughs> we did a test run. We made it. We tried to go as fast as humanly possible. Yeah, everyone but two people died at the very end, like sixty feet from the finish. Which we had you'd three think, deaths. You think we would have had less points, fewer points from that? But and we also were a farmer, you, which was a big deal. If we, if we had all made it alive, yeah, meaning if you hadn't crashed. We actually might be like two or three, yeah. On this list, oh, I, I know. <laughs> if I if I literally that faithful crash, so Salt, Salt, Salty Dalton and I test our nice. drove this last night. Um, so we played. That's weird, man. We had to make sure. What a weird. Thing. We had to stretch and flex the Oregon Trail muscles a bit, and 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 so for those who are listening to the podcast, we're gonna do our best to make it entertaining for you audio people. But I will say, if I mean everybody's got YouTube on their phone now. Go to YouTube, just search the Random Word Podcast, and you can watch the video of us playing this game, which mm -hmm. might work a little bit better than just listening to the audio, but we know we have a mixed audience here. So we are playing Oregon Trail on this podcast. Are you ready to travel the trail, Salty Dalton? Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, travel the trail. <clears throat> Welcome to Oregon Trail. You're about to begin a great adventure. Traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America. Your covered wagon, pulled by a team of oxen that may or may not all get stolen, <laughs> will travel from Independence. I, I ad lib that part. Will travel from Independence, Missouri. Did you? Because I, I can read the, I can read <laughs> the script. <laughs> to the fertile Williamette Valley of the Oregon Territory. A journey of approximately 2,000 miles. Look at your emo hair there. You look like Pete Wentz. Dude, Before you set off on the trail... So long on top. Oh, I know. That's why I'm wearing a hat, because my hair looks ridiculous. I, I brought a hat, but I was like... Let's just, no, it looks good, man. You're rocking the... Wild, you look like you're in uh, Panic at the Disco. Before you set off on the trail, register your I name. I don't think you understand how big of a compliment that is. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm not here to insult you. All right, so it says, uh, <laughs> good luck. That's kind of your, your MO. All right, so we need, okay, so let's take our time right, hit here. the help, hit the help button. Well, first uh, let me type in my name. Uh, wait, let's, no, make, let's, let's, let's make it unique. Do about, Rando Ben or What about Rando RW? Word, uh, RWP? RWP. Do Mr. RWP. Forever? Okay, Mr. RWP. All right, help. So let's hit help. All right, so we're choosing our occupation. 
And all, people of all walks of life went west to Oregon. You can pick your occupation, but each choice has its advantages and disadvantages. I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger for the video here. Shrink us a little bit. Okay. Um, so, bankers. Oh, dude. Look at the bankers start with 1,600 cash. 16, you know how many oxen that could buy? That's a lot Hundreds. of oxen. Thousands. Now, there's no final bonus. So we we were farmers last night. That's why we got that times three final bonus. Apparently, ox farmers are like not looked at as a valuable member of society in this game. Because Oxen are less likely to get sick and die, though. Well, that is an farmers, advantage. Farmers wouldn't have that that kind of capital to go travel. I kind of like the idea of being a blacksmith or a carpenter. I like to think of myself as a man who can work with his hands. You know. I think we should be saddle makers. Saddle makers. Look, okay. you get a you you get double the starting cash. Eight hundred. Yeah. You only take a, you take a point five decrement for the multiplier. So for those who at home, the you can choose through these occupations. It's bankers, doctors, merchants, blacksmiths, carpenters, saddle makers, farmers, and teachers. <laughs> I like how they threw teachers. In. Teachers those getting the, disrespected. Those are, the, those are the only people that traveled the trail. By the way, it was only these people. Only these people. <laughs> um, I like how there's no like uh, you know criminals. If you were an accountant. <laughs> You're out of luck. Accountants couldn't travel, Oregon. So we want to go Oregon. with saddle makers, you think? I mean, I vote saddle makers, farmers, saddle makers. or... Uh, oh, okay. Right. Uh, Let's go with saddle makers. Why not? All right. Oh, other people in our wagon. All right. So we need, right, I so... need you. Salty Dalto. Salty Dalto. Um, all right. So Mandy. who are we thinking? All right, Mandy. She has shown us much loyalty over the years. Um, should we put Pete in here? Yeah, let's let's get CMO Pete in. CMO Pete, um, the coveted fourth spot. Who has shown the podcast a lot of loyalty over the years? I mean, Ian's been there. Cornfed, Cornfed's been paying attention to us for a long time. I know he still listens to the show a lot. Um, I got my coworker Matt. Um, there's there's a lot of options here. My sister, your sister. Um, you know what we should have done, yeah. Ben? Is it's too late. Whatever you're gonna suggest, it's too late. Facebook, Facebook lives it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's too late. Um, should have, could have, would have. That's all right. We'll put it. We'll put, the, we'll put the video on our Facebook page after. <laughs> uh, Mandy, CMO, Pete. Let's just put Pete. Pete. Tw oh, okay. Just put Pete instead of CMO, Pete. Okay. Uh, let's see here, and then the last spot. So here's some of the. <laughs> Here's some of the candidates. So there's intern Will. There's Ian. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. There's Pat, your father. Um, there's, uh, I'm trying to think of any other loyal, loyal randos. Um, that's about it. That's our only listeners, I think. Um, yeah, we got, what, 12, 12 <laughs> listeners maybe? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I vote, let's let's do Ian. I feel like Ian, yeah, Ian will have good luck. Ian, Ian honestly, he, he still listens to the show a lot. So I'm going to give him that respect there. So we've got Salty Dalto, we got Mandy, we got Pete, and we got Ian. Now we head over to Matt's General Store. It is time to purchase some items. The options are oxen, sets of clothing, boxes of bullets, spare wagon wheels, spare wagon axles, spare wagon tongues, and pounds of food. So we have $800 to spend. And I think as we, we discovered the past couple times... 12 we, oxen. 12 oxen? Do you think so? Five, five. Put twelve in there, hundred percent. Twelve is two. Okay, two hundred forty dollars. That's nothing. I, make it. Should we go more? No, 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 no. Think I think about, if we had more oxen, think about the top speed we could reach. But I don't think know about if that how affects fast anything. we get. Like too fast, two oxen, or two <laughs> Oregon, two oxen, or. Now the last two times we played this game, we had six oxen stolen. So at least in this scenario, if six oxen are stolen, we've got another we still six. Still got six left. I like I like six okay. oxen. So they're twenty dollars uh, each. Clothing. Clothing is uh, as we discovered. $10 clothing pop. doesn't really mean anything in this game. Like we've had guys well, our party completely helps. naked. It only it only helps when you get to the winter month. It yeah. takes down your like health. So let's do maybe ten. Yeah, why not? All right, ten sets of clothing at ten dollars each. So we're right now. Our budget was eight hundred dollars. We've spent three hundred and forty here boxes of bullets so we know judging by my 15. shooting abilities we're going to need a lot of bullets how many uh, is 15 15 boxes 15 of bullets. 20, 20 a box uh, okay that's a lot of bullets that's a lot of bullets um 
So we're at 370 here. So wagon wheels. So the max you can buy is three. I assume we should just get three, right? Yeah. Three, uh, three of each of these next things because we have yeah. the money to spend. And, and then, then last, pounds of food. This is a key I thing. I think here. we should spend every last dollar on pounds on of food. food. So yeah. we have, so we've spent $460. We've got 340 left. Um, so we have 340 left. I got you. If we do like 800 pounds of food, no, we can get even more. So the max we can get is 2,000. Do 680. Okay. 680 pounds. 680. So we still have a bunch, oh, bunch God, left dude. over. Oh, no, I think on. let's do 1,500. 1,500 gets us up to. We're still, we're still, and then we have forty dollars left over. We can buy two more oxen. <laughs> I don't know if we need two more oxen. Let's do it. Let's do it. All Throw right. it on there. I dude. guess we can always trade the stuff. All right. So we've got fourteen oxen 1, for some reason. pounds of food. We've got ten sets of clothing, fifteen boxes of bullets, three spare wagon wheels. Three spare wagon axles, three spare wagon tongues, and fifteen hundred pounds 1500. of food. That's Matt's general store. If you're watching the video, there's Matt there on the left. I'm pointing at him here with the mouse. He's got a couple hats up above. There's some guns. Look at um, that guy. Look at that. Look at this <laughs> thing. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Weird Wheel of Fortune. And I like how he's got the little cuffs on his arm, like a little like arm a blackjack yeah, dealer. Yeah. All right, we're buying it. <laughs> can I interest you? Can I interest you in some oxen? So the next or decision, poker? starting date. So we need to decide when to set off on the trail. If you leave too early, there won't be much grass for your oxen to eat. You may encounter some very cold weather and late spring snowstorms. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter, which so which can be very dangerous. If you leave at just the right time, there'll be green grass and, for the most part, mild weather. Tell you what, it is April 15th. We're leaving in April. Okay. Hey, we might as well keep it realistic. So the options were March, April, May, June, July, and August. We are going to leave in April. So we're starting. All right. We started down the trail here. It's April 1st, 1848. We're in Independence, Missouri. Let's go ahead and talk to the locals here, Salty Dalton, before we head Better out take here. extra sets of clothing. Trade them to Indians. That's racist. <laughs> racist. <laughs> For fresh vegetables, fish, or meat, it's well worth hiring an Indian guide. <laughs> you racist. know the Indians. They know all about river crossing. <laughs> at river crossings expect to pay them they're sharp traders and not easily cheated okay what? uh what else here did you read the missouri republican today i assume that's a newspaper it says some folks start for oregon without carrying spare parts not even an extra wagon axle must think they grow on trees hope they're lucky enough to find an abandoned wagon thanks dude oh, oh okay Any, uh, so whoa is that abraham lincoln it's a they took a picture of Abraham Lincoln and photoshopped a beard on it. Wow, look at that. Some folks Dave. seem to think that two oxen are enough to get them to Oregon. Yeah. Two oxen can barely move a fully loaded wagon. And if one of them gets sick or dies, you won't be going anywhere. What he says at the end, I wouldn't <laughs> go overland with less than six. Oh, see, I thought. Oh, I misread it. I thought he went, I wouldn't go overboard and go more than six, but we've got 12. <laughs> I want to see if the little boy, no, that's all of it. That's the only people there. All There's right. only, that's a population of three. Yeah, it's so we've got the people, people there. Time. So let's take a look at the status here. Mr. RWP yeah. doing good. Uh, Salty Dalto doing good. Mandy doing good. This, Pete good. We'll do, Mr. Ian RWP good. is Ben. Yes. We just, we're going to see if we make the leaderboard here. I'm Mr. RWP. Um, all right, so. First, before we head out, do we want to adjust our pace? We're right now just at steady. Do we want to move up to strenuous? We gotta, we gotta start fast. We right, gotta so start grueling? at a grueling pace. Okay, yes. we'll start at grueling. How about our rations? So right now, you know what? They should be filling right now because right. that's a lot of food. So I feel like even if we, I feel like some would spoil. I feel like the game would do that to us. Sure, sure. So I think we should eat healthy and run fast, and All then. Right keep going fast and stop feeding everyone as we get lower in food so fast pace we're going big meals so we're we're really structuring our diet yeah. well here um and i Listen, think you gotta eat you gotta eat big to get big right isn't that in some kind of bodybuilding i think so i think i mean obviously i mean judging by me i know a lot about that um let's let's begin on the journey man a toast a toast to you here let me grab my my water here all right give any uh you're the so you're the wagon leader i'm the um, wagon leader what is, what is your inspirational send-off for us? As me, a participant, okay, a common saddle maker, 
uh, uh, we got five saddle makers to go all in on a cart and some oxen. Well, so I'm a shareholder. People, here. people of this wagon, I ask you. Here, here, here. I ask you this: Have you dreamt of a better life? Have you dreamed of a better tomorrow? Well, yeah. I'll tell you, people. Yeah, guys, come on, guys. That place, that better place, yeah, is west. And we are going west. How, how far west, though? To the ends of the earth. It's flat. It, earth is flat. We're going to go to the end, and we're going to take a look around, and then we're going to come back to Independence, no, that's, Missouri. That's super great, but like, is there a state or like a city that we're going Ooh, to? Let's see. So we're going to be along a trail. Um, is there uh, like a set trail? I think it's like, like, uh, it's like dirty, and stuff? dirty trail. Oh, wait. Look, we have a map here. Um, oh, see, I can't read That's maps. the worst map I've <laughs> I, ever seen. And it doesn't get bigger. It's not like I can zoom in. Um, the scale says 300 miles for like an inch. So, so I, we're going to cross mountains. We're going to cross rivers, forts. We're going to run into some Native Americans. We call them Native Americans. The racists well, call them we're Indians. We're ahead of the curve. We're ahead of the curve. Um, but yeah, I'm finishing my speech. We're going to go west. We're going to take this trail. And we're all going to survive. I'll tell you this. I promise you your, this. People, people, speech? listen to me. Wait, was there a chance of us dying? Um, I'm, I'm definitely not on board with that. In the like, 1800s? Not even a little bit. I mean, it's 1848. I actually have an irrational fear of death. Thinking about death makes me sure, sure. uncomfortable. I want to I wanna leave. Just I'm don't out. think about it. Close your eyes. For that reason, I'm out. No, oh. I'm out. Mr. Wonderful, what about you? <laughs> it's, like, it's like Shark Tank. Um, let's go. Let's go west, people, for a better life. We're going to start it here. Here we go. Here's our little okay. wagon. It's going. We're, eat we're eating about 20 pounds of food oh, a day. Oh, Ian, Ian is sick with typhoid fever. Right off the How bat. did Ian? <laughs> we barely we've, left. <laughs> we barely it's left. Been th <laughs> it's been three days. We traveled 100 and miles. And he has typhoid fever we gotta rest yeah well i mean we're at the river so should we rest right now okay how many yeah, days are we gonna have to wait one day one, one freaking day, day. Okay. rest for one day all right check check the status of our our crew members here these how do you have Still Ian, has typhoid typhoid just says typhoid next to his name yeah well uh what are the odds should we continue on should we cross this river yeah we got it all right there, all right the if he dies he dies cares. He dies, he dies. Um, so we have no money, so we definitely can't oh, pay the five dollars. Oh, it's six feet deep. We got to float the wagon. All right, so I mean, caulk the no wagon we... and float it. Yeah. All right, here we go. God, if we lose anything. There we go. Our wagon's going. We're caulking it. Oh, <gasps> and this isn't oh. good. One member of your wagon drowned. Mandy drowned. <laughs> Oh no, man! He's we dead. also lost 151 bullets and one wagon axle. Last night Wait. it was so easy. We zoomed we through the game in 20 minutes. Hold on, we lost of oh, the boat. The wagon capsized. Yep, your wagon Mandy, tipped while crossing the river. Mandy drowns. Yes, she drowns. We lost an exact 151 bullets. bullets and a wagon axle. In... Oh wait, what was on wait. the map there? Oh, it disappeared. Sorry. Uh, status. Oh, what are you doing, Ben? Okay. Uh, so Mandy's deceased. Well, so I, we have we still have 149 bullets though. So we still have a lot left. We should. We should probably. Oh yeah, we gotta take over. a sec. We gotta take a sec here. Yeah. <sighs> um. Um. So as 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 the leader of the party here, um, uh, I know that this beginning of this trip. Has not quite gone how we planned. I know we were very excited leaving Independence, Missouri, and now 100 miles down the road, one of you has typhoid. Ian, hello. Uh, and one of you is dead. Um, Mandy, uh, um, you can't hear me because you're dead. God, God rest her soul. Um, so uh, so I, young. Yeah. I, I, before we continue on in this journey, I think we should stop and, and everybody <laughs> says a few words. So I'll, I'll start with you, Salty Dalto. You knew her best. Um, why don't you say a few yeah, words for, is, uh, for Mandy? I mean, this is, I didn't expect it this early. We've been gone for five days, um, no, this, but this what, got, it this, happens. <laughs> this caught me off guard. Um, they, they say when you float a wagon in a six foot river, um, they say that it's one of the most dangerous things you can do. And yeah. for me, that, that, that rang true today, mm -hmm. um, as Mandy, uh, passed away. She drowned under the weight of 14 oxen and uh, 151 bullets. Maybe that's why the wagon. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
I uh, I don't really have anything prepared, but I will try sure. to speak from the heart. Go ahead. Um, a famous writer once said, "Okay, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. If that's true, then Mandy made a great life. He or she was the most giving person I've ever known. And judging from the nodding heads I see in front of me, yep, I'm nodding." It seems that many of you agree. Mandy was born. Oh, oh, you're Mandar- continuing. Okay, gotcha. uh, Mandy was born. Uh, Let me check the time here. We got, you know, we got to keep going because we're only hundred miles. Mandy <laughs> O. Manderson. Uh huh. On uh, May twenty second, uh, eighteen. It was April sixth. Is when she died. She was born on. Oh, oh, you're right. So 1848, eight, so like she's born on May 22nd, 1822. Okay. Um, in Oklahoma City. Uh-huh. Uh, she was west. She came back over because she wanted to make it all the way back to Oklahoma. That was her dream. Didn't happen, unfortunately. No. Um, <laughs> Five days uh, in. <laughs> she was the she was the second child of uh, Horatio and. Linda. Uh, they lived in Oklahoma City from 1822 to 1822. They moved that same year. <laughs> Mandy used to work for Saddlemakers United as a chief saddlemaker. Right. Uh, over the over the years, Mandy also worked for uh, Saddles R Us, um, Saddle Me Silly, and Saddles. Big, big S, little little E. Um, In 1826... This is a very long eulogy. Mandy met uh, Ian. Uh, Over the years, Ian also worked for Saddles R Us, uh, Saddle Tech, and uh, Saddle Do. um, and, And they got married... Uh, so Ian survives her, uh, currently has typhoid fever. Yeah, he, he may he's be having an, <laughs> another, another funeral eulogy. very quickly soon after this. Um, they you had didn't hear 20, that, Ian. Ian, you didn't hear that. They had 22 children together. Yep. Um, and I won't list all of their names, sure, but, um, sure. they start rhyming after eight. Mm-hmm. Um, Mandy was very active in the church community, local theater, quilting groups, uh, volunteer firefighting, and uh, checkers club. Hmm. She devoted many hours to her hobbies and services and was known for back rubs. Um, Her exquisite quilt designs uh, and always being ready to lend a helping hand and a positive attitude. Um, I asked family and friends to tell me what they remember most about Mandy. There are so many good memories. Jumping, quilting, fishing, saddle making. Um, Adjusting cameras. There we go. <laughs> uh, playing music together. She she played the xylophone. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a little broken up here. Uh, no, just, I understand, man. It's just tough. To I mean, I barely knew her. I knew her for five days. Um, but it was a big five days for me as well. So. We, we used to go fishing in Ajax Lake, and one time Andy caught this, uh, like, 42-pound bass, and she, she turned around, and she was like, I caught a fish. And I said, that's not a fish. And she looked again, and it was actually just a, an old boot, um, and we, we laughed about that. Um, one that I remember in particular was the time where, oh, I just, I just said that. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. And now Mandy has passed from the realm of the living, uh, living into uh, the ground here. Uh, we decided to bury her in the river she she died in to cut costs. We actually spent Kansas all our money River on Crossing, office. I think Kansas River it was. Yep. And, uh, and so I Mandy? think if she had any final words, it would have been, "Why didn't we pay five dollars for the ferry?" We had no money left over. No zero to zero dollars. Yeah. So to, to, to Mandy, Mandy. To Mandy. To Mandy. I will say, um, again, last last night we did this and nobody died except for when I accidentally killed him. Um, <clears throat> well, we're we're off to a great start. So uh, she is only survived by Ian, her spouse, yeah. and uh, 
we'll see how long that lasts. So should we should we rest? Um, should we no. give everybody a day no. to greet? No. Uh, okay. I think the longer we stay around the body, the more suspicious it All is. All right. Well, we're gonna continue on here. Um, so we leave Mandy's body and we head down the trail here. We've reached another river, the Big Blue Crossing. Let's check on everybody's status right. real quick. Um, so everybody's doing fair, oh. except for Ian, who has typhoid. And Ian so. still has typhoid. Well, typhoid. it has only been nine days. Yeah. Who gets, who gets typhoid day two into this trek? He must have had typhoid before he got on the raft. I, the, he he the had boat. to. He had to bring it in with him, I think. Um, so should we rest here? Social distancing. Or should we just go no. for it? Why? Why would we rest? We gotta right. go for it. So do we? So the river is five deep, uh, five feet deep, and two hundred fifty feet wide. Do we do go for the river? Or do, do we, we float it? Do, do we, we float test it again? fate twice? Is that what we do? Let's float it. All right. Oh my God! If we freaking die again, here we go. We're going across the river. Everything's looking pretty good. That's it. Everything's a big looking pretty river. good. Yes. Let's go. Yes. All right. We made it safely across the river. There we go. We're that. moving. We're moving. Let's check the status here. Still typhoid. <laughs> all right. Continue. Everyone continue. else is doing all right though. Ian is well again. Look at that. The spirits of crossing that river made him well again. And some uh, say it was fair. Some say it was his fact that he wanted to get home and see his 22 children. Um, yeah. And he, he stayed strong for Mandy, I think. He did that in her memory. So this is April 13th. We've traveled 304 miles here. We've now reached Fort Kearney. Kearney. Um, well, let's talk to some of the locals here, Salty Dalton. Um, why don't you... Here, I'll start with this guy here. So he says... Uh, the Platte River Valley forms a natural roadway from Fort Kearney to Fort Laramie. Travels bound for California, Utah, and Oregon all take this road. Could be the easiest stretch of the whole trip. Should see antelope and plenty of buffalo. Whoa. <laughs> Who's this man? <laughs> Don't do the it accent. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a trap. <laughs> the game is still plentiful along here, but getting harder to find. With so many overlanders... What is that? Overlanders? Mean? Is that like an alien? <laughs> I don't know is what he that from is. Under, is he a mole man? Is he from underneath? The, There's so the many people living above ground. It's really screwing <laughs> up my hunting. I don't expect it to last more than a few years. Folks shoot game for sport, take a small piece, and let the rest rot in the sun. Huh, I wonder who he's talking about there. Okay, guy advocating for climate change or something let's go the trails from the jumping off places independence st joseph council bluffs come together at fort kearney this new fort was built by the u.s army to protect those bound for california and oregon so it's built for protection all right so those were the three gentlemen we talked to there um let's try to trade sure yeah can we trade not? can we trade for a new member Ooh, i wish no, we can't should we trade, trade for, for some, some bullets all right some bullets uh how many bullets should we how many boxes, 151. 150. Ooh, the, oh, no. I almost typed in 250. 151. Let's see what people want. Sorry, but no one here has got 151 bullets to spare, says Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> well, uh, why don't we just fish them out of the river? What about like, what about, like 50? Sure, I'll trade 50 bullets oh, for 20 pounds of food. that is a food. steal. We've got 1,300 pounds yeah. and we're eating less and because we're Mandy not even died. hunting right now. So, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take that, lady. Yeah. So, we just traded 20 pounds of food for 50 bullets. Um, let's All check right. the status. Everybody's doing fair. I think we're ready to move on here. Let's leave Fort Kearney on April thirteenth. We're heading. We're heading. Uh, heading down the trail here. Green grass. Look at that stretch. I think we need. Uh, um, hold, hold on. You cut out there. What'd you say? Everyone can experience your hunting ability. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's take a quick time out here. Why not? Why not? We we bought these new bullets. Let's uh, head to the hunt. Oh, there's a squirrel. And missed that one. Oh. He shot about nine bullets. No, oh, here again. we go. Okay. We oh, here's a big buffalo. Boom. Oh, oh rabbit. he shot that. Oh, oh, killed that rabbit, too. All right. I did. I did. Yeah. I haven't really been able to do that much. Oh, squirrel. You should move. Oh, oh, another, oh buffalo. another buffalo. All Take right. That down. Oh, let me Let's get be the those people that leave it. To... Oh, okay. I think I'm, I think I'm good. Wait. It's like, it's like weird. It like sometimes won't shoot, but... I think that's the end of the hunt. Um, let's see here. So we shot 657 pounds of food and used 20 bullets, but are only able to carry 200 pounds of food back. So we carry about a third of it back. Uh, we waste. Well, it's fine. It's two it's, uh, it's no, it's biodegradable. That's true. It's just gonna grade by the bio. And we're heading up to Penis Mountain here. 
Oh, an ox is sick. That's too bad. Good thing we've got 500 of them. Um, a fire... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. A oh. fire in your whoa, wagon what? destroyed whoa, nine sets of God. clothing. Everyone's naked. Everyone's 118 naked. bullets, two wagon tongues, and 272 pounds of food. So... All right, so we're good on oxen we still. We have one set of clothes. One set of clothes. So there are... Dude, the bullets keep many... getting destroyed. How are the bullets getting have... destroyed by the fire? Um, and we have one... We need a wagon tongue right now. We need more bullets. <sighs> this isn't well, good. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, think about around? it, though. Oh, yeah. See, there's some people here. Um, about noon yesterday, we came inside of Chimney Rock, looming up in the distance like the lofty tower of some town. We did not tire gazing. We did not tire gazing on it. It was about twenty <laughs> miles from us and stayed in sight till we reached it today. I hear terrible stories about wagon parties running out of food before Oregon. The whole party starving to death. We must check our supplies often. We might not get there as soon as we think. Always playing for the worst. I say <laughs> that's okay. a great attitude the, to have. The, she is Debbie Downer, the OG. <laughs> Chimney Rock by moonlight is awfully sublime. Many Indians came to our <laughs> wagon with fish to exchange for clothing. We bought a number. This is an accent. They understand swap and oh look, they understand swap and no swap. That's the only thing they understand apparently. Seem most anxious to get shirts and socks. Well, so well, are we. we. We need some. All of, Should we get some? Let's uh, do sets of clothing. All right. Yeah. Well, oh, there's one person wearing clothes. The rest are naked. Sure. Sorry, but nobody's got. Five. No, we we only need three. We need three. Right, three. three sets. Okay. Uh, well, what about some more bullets? We just lost another 118 bullets. Can we get? Oh, okay, yeah, 111. <laughs> Can we get 111? Sorry, but no one here's got a try, hundred. Try 50. Try 50. Oh my god. We'll just have to do it twice. <laughs> but this child. What? What, what is he? All these sure. bullets. I'll trade, I'll you, trade 50 you 50 bullets, bullets for 19, for 19 pounds, pounds of food. Oh, food. definitely, definitely. That's fine. Is that a deal? Yeah, four-year-old. So you just got 50 again here. Got... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, whoa. Okay, so. Whoa. Well, no swap. No swap. No swap. <laughs> oh, this guy is ready to swap. Uh, one set of clothing. Uh, we only have one set of clothing. Should we <laughs> do no. it? No. Don't, don't do that deal. Okay. Should we try to get some more clothing here? Let's try three. Again. Yes. Or four. No? Okay. What about Try three? three. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. Try two. Maybe we'll reach like a store or something. Oh, wait. We have no money. Um, you can trade for straight cash, homie. Yeah, we could trade for cash. Let's trade for hundred dollars. Hundred dollars, twenty bucks. Nobody's got twenty bucks to spare. Man, this town sucks. Try a hundred though. Okay. Try a hundred. Or two hundred. Whoa, two hundred for nine, nine oxen. oxen. <laughs> Get out of here. That's oh. way above market for price for an I oxen. Almost, I thought I accidentally hit yes for a second. <laughs> I was terrified. Um, so he'll trade us a hundred dollars for four hundred twenty-four pounds of food. Do we really need a hundred dollars? Well, we need. There are three naked people. That's true. We need to buy clothes. Well, uh, but okay. four hundred pounds of food. That's like almost. That's less than half. Okay, of food, but just, buy it, and then go hunting as soon as we leave Chimney Rock. So do this, yes. Yeah, but we need to replenish our supply. Ugh. All, right. All right. So we gotta leave Chimney Rock, Penis Island, there, and then uh, let's go hunting for a bit here. Don't worry, guys. I've got it here. So I'm going hunting right now. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a buck. That's a big buck. Oh, there it is. Took down the buck. All right. You've used three of our, like, 50 bullets. Oh. There's a buffalo. That's all we need. All right. Boom. We're done. Uh, so how much meat? 797 pounds of food was killed. And we're only able to carry 200, as we know. All right. We're good. All right. We're good. Let's continue on. Let's we're moving. It. It's April 22nd. Two days after hey, my brother's birthday. Is that birthday. ox okay? Ian has a Ian fever. Ian has a fever. Ian, oh my god. god. An ox has died. Oh no, we got 13. That's an unlucky number. Kill an ox. I, I don't think that's an option in the game. <laughs> I don't think I can just kill 13. Kill one ox. Fort Laramie. So let's buy right. some stuff. So we needed to buy yeah, some clothes. All right, here we go. Buy, it, buy one oxen. Okay. Buy one oxen. All right, all right. Buy one oxen. We can't have an unlucky number. We'll get, we need uh, three sets of clothing. Three. Okay. Three sets of clothing. That's seventy-five dollars. And then you need, then you need to buy uh, ten. No, f th four we need boxes a wagon tongue. Bullets. We needed a wagon tongue. We lost one. Yeah. Okay, but then spend the rest on bullets. Okay, so one wagon tongue and then 
Let's see, box of bullets. You can buy three boxes of bullets. Three boxes of bullets, and we're good. There's a Fort Laramie Gen General Store there. Um, so let's check on Ian. Is so, our health is fo poor for all of us, and Ian has a fever. Man, I can't believe Mandy died so early. She's gonna be super bummed. I sent her a text. I was like, Mandy, you're one of the characters in our Oregon Trail playthrough, and, and she was she like, died. can't wait. I was like, she's gonna stop listening after 15 minutes. Should we adjust our pace at all? Or are we are we doing okay? No. You think? Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Grueling pace. Okay, grueling pace. We're sticking with that. Um, should we rest because our health is poor? <clears throat> our health is poor? Yeah, we're, we're, we're poor in fever. Oh, just because one of us has a... Yeah, sure, we should rest. Yeah, I'll, I'll rest for three days. Two days. Three days. Oh, three days. All right, you're generous. Yeah, here we go. I want to give the, the the lads some rest. I mean, they've... To be fair, though, it's what? Uh, it'll be April 27th? Yeah. So, uh, and we've got how many miles? 640? 640. And we got... About fourteen hundred. Divided 1360. by twenty, we're going twenty-two miles a day. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know how fast an oxen goes. Health's back to fair. Ian still has an, a fever, but I think we continue. Back on. him up. All right, here we go. We go are hunting real quick. Heading out. Okay, let's time out. Let's go hunting here. The more food we have, the better. Some more food, especially once the winter months happen. Oh, there's one. Oh, boom. Oh wow. Dude, as soon as you get Let's kill that, oh, guys. you got it. Oh, you could have gone for a high score. There were like 50 buffalo out there. I mean, All I'm right, trying to. The bullets, you know, we, we only have so many bullets here. Let's continue on. We got plenty do, of food. You though. do shoot. Yeah, we do. Man, Ian as well again. Ian made another Oregon comeback. Trail? There we go. I know. I, it'd be so boring. Yeah, but I bet you Ian gets cholera next. I'm calling it right now. When Look I'm at that. Look how expansive quarantine. that trail is. Quarantine feels like. Uh, oh, you have cholera. Salty Dalton what? has cholera. I oh, have no. cholera. Oh no! What if you die, uh, bro? I listen. Uh, this is an unbiased opinion here. I think we should rest. Okay. Are you sure? Let's see. Let's check the status. Uh, everyone's yeah, doing poor. Cholera, bro. And you're. Uh, well, we're we're so close to the landmark. Fifteen miles. Let's go to the landmark. Yeah. I, I, what I, if, I. What can if What if you it. die in these fifteen miles? Independence Rock. Okay. So. Let's Ooh. rest. Let's give a four-day rest here. Let's give some time. Ooh. All right, that's fine, it's, I guess. it's only May. It's only May, and we've that's already traveled. Much, though, we've already traveled the eight hundred and thirty I mean, miles. What else do these people have to do, Ben? They're they're riding an oxen a thousand miles. Okay, they don't have a PS4 or bills or you know a podcast to do. We can tell stories while we rest. So you still have cholera. The rest of us are doing. Let fair. me tell you the story. I gather around the fire. Oh, let's talk. Children. Let's talk. Let me let's meet the story some of Mandy. <laughs> All right. A cautionary tale about learning how to swim. <laughs> oh, we got a little boy in this one. All right, so I'll read this one first. Goodbye, Platte River. Goodbye, Sand Hills and White Buffalo Skulls. Now we climb the Sweetwater Valley to cross the Continental Divide at South Pass. Once across the Rockies, we'll make a steep descent into the river, the Green River Valley. And you can read the little boy. I carved my name on the side of Independence Rock near the top, mister. There are hundreds of names up there. The oldest ones were carved by mountain men and fur trappers. Famous names like Fremont, Bonneville, and Bono. What does that say? Desmet? Desmet. De Desmet. You know, Desmet. Uh, and the Young Jeezy. <laughs> no butter or cheese or fresh fruits in the four lamb. <laughs> Bless me, but I'd rather have my larder full of food back east than have our names carved on that rock. Well, tis a sight more cheery than all the graves we passed, including Mandy's. Uh, mm. Okay, here. R.I.P. Should we She's rest? In a better place. Should we rest some more, or I mean, should we uh, try to get you to heal from cholera, or do you want to just continue? We, on? How long did we just rest? Like four days. Four days. Yeah, it's May. 12th. If I didn't, if I'm not cured of cholera now, I never will be. All so right. let's just. We'll head out here. We're going. Salty Dalton is well again. Look at that. Ooh, I came through. That's that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> COVID-19 can't hold me back. Let's go. Man, it's so sad that Mandy died that early. We've lost the trail. Pete is suffering we from exhaustion. What is Pete what doing? He's wuss. not pulling the cart. Come on, Pete. What a wuss. Exhaustion? Okay, fine. We're feeding them. 35 uh, miles to landmark. Or let, let me hunt first, and then we'll hit the landmark, and then we'll rest. Yeah. What's Pete going to do? Fall asleep? I almost hit that deer, but then it ran away. Let's see. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Big. Oh, big buck. Big buck. Okay. I shot the dead deer. All right. There. Oh, boom. Let me try to get one more. Let me move to a different spot. Oh, another big buck. All right. Boom. That's good. Let's see what we got here. 
Uh, okay. 200 pounds nice. of food. Let's rest for... Oh, wait, no. We. Get, I, I think we should hit the landmark first. Let's see. Yeah, absolutely we should hit the landmark. Are you kidding me? 35 we're, miles. We're, Pete, you can make it. We're, we're killing this. Wagon is delayed. Why is it delayed? Uh, I think we went down... The, you lost the trail. It oh, said before Jesus. Pete suffered from exhaustion. All right, here we go. 14 miles to landmark. You've reached South Pass. All right, good. Let's talk to the locals here. My father is very sick, and we are resting here until he gets better. We it's a typhoid been, fever. We have been pushing too hard, and our health has suffered. When okay, this seems kind of pointed <laughs> yeah. at what we're doing is this, right now. Is this Pete? When my father is, <laughs> is able this to... Pete? <laughs> Please, uh, stop the pace. <laughs> when my father is able to travel again, we will go at a slower pace. Oh, here's Abe. Or scoring. <laughs> What's he saying? My family and I are traveling with 40 other families to the Valley of the Great Salt Lake to seek religious freedom. Back east, Mormons are persecuted. Oh, he's a Mormon. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah. In Utah, we'll join together to build a new community, changing desert into farmland. <laughs> oh, he's one of those Irish Mormons. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, oh, oh I'm not going to do the right? accent here. When the white yeah, man, why not? Why I'm just going to read it perfectly fine. When the white man well, first I, I crossed you were our lands, that. <laughs> when, when the white man first crossed our lands, their wagons were few. Now they crowd the trail in great numbers. The land is overgrazed with there so many animals. Do any white men still live in the east? My people talk of moving. Wow, that's uh, that's really sad there. Okay, well, <laughs> we're just uh, gonna rest a little bit here. Let's rest for you know two days. Give uh, Pete the the wuss some time to rest. Pete is well again. Oh, shocker! Ooh, pedal. Well, the metal, baby. All right, here we, we go. Rip it and rip it. Continue. We have to get to Oregon. All right, the trail divides here. Do we want to head to Fort Bridger to buy supplies or take yeah, the shortcut yeah, to Green Yeah, $1. Shortcut. Yeah. Always take a shortcut. We don't, we don't need supplies. All right. Oh, we're going to have to cross Look at us the river going. here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Toxic barrel rolling. Rolling through Oregon. You took the Why wrong trail. Why they call trail? it Oregon Trail? Oh, my God. You took the Did wrong it? trail. You know what you know what happened is someone probably put the wrong direction into Google you, Maps. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're right. Somebody was using Apple Maps instead of Google Maps. Big mistake. I I like to use Waze. It shows me where wagons have broken down on the side true, of the road. True, true, true. And where the lawmen are uh, when they're trying to they're, they've got the radar gun and they're clocking the. the <laughs> oh, Pete was bitten by a snake. Oh Looks my like. God, Pete. Pete. I mean, should we rest some more well, before I, we cross I, this river? I guess. Right, two Pete, days. Pete, we'll give you two days to heal from this snake bite. We need to hunt, too. At this point, we might as well just kill Pete. Hunting's not allowed near Green River Crossing. Okay, we'll hunt when we get past this place. All right. Uh, we rested for two days. There's no grass for the oxen. I don't believe that because I see grass right there on the screen. Let's see here. Do we... Oh... Oh, I thought the river deep. is currently 400 feet deep. I was like, okay. <laughs> so Ooh, the well, river we is 400 feet wide and 20 feet deep. to afford it? Are we just going to send the oxen into a 20-foot <laughs> deep river? Uh, uh, we got to float the river. We got to float it, dude. Oh, we got to float it. Here we go. This could be bad. Come on. Oh, and it tipped. And oh, no. Oh, freak. No. Uh, Two members drowned. Ooh, you drowned oh, and Ian drowned. Oh, no. No! Oh, oh but no. we didn't lose any supplies. That's good. Oh I, my super god! Super bummer. That who's left? Is it just Pete and you? Look at this, burying and mourning All the right. dead. All right, here we go. So, uh, well, <clears throat> oh well. I mean, you, you can it's feel tough to see. So you're it's tough to you're see Pete, me about this I guess early. right now. Um, I guess I'm and Pete. I'm, and I'm me. I think it's just me and you, me and Pete left. That's it, because it was started with five, and we just lost. All right, so as the uh, as the leader of this party, I know our numbers have, have shrunk a little bit. Uh, you and me are the only ones left here, um, and I just have a few words to say. We, we obviously got to honor, honor the dead here. Let's start with uh, Ian. Um, so Ian was one of those guys who would always give you oh, Lord. the saddle off his back. Um, he would uh, dig. They, call, they used to call him that, you know? Around the water cooler, we called him Saddleback Ian. The literal he water. Would give cooler. you the saddle off his back. He would, and uh, he would always give you a shoe shine when you needed it. Uh, yeah, so we used to call him too, was shoe shine oh. Ian. <laughs> I didn't really he know him that well. He would shine your saddles and your shoes and, because uh, he was at the Ian. same time. Um, and he he really liked 
you know, see uh, doing that thing in the pictures and at this time in the 1840s where you just kind of stare at the camera with intense eyes because this is the only way oh you look in pictures. Dude, we used to call him that too. We <laughs> called him we called him creepy eye Ian. Oh man. So Ian, uh, you'll be missed, and uh, we will hopefully make it to Oregon. I'm not so sure now. We're not having much luck with the rivers, but hopefully, uh, God no, it's, willing, it's all the river. It's all the river. God willing, like, we we don't cross more rivers. Um, drinks up to to Ian. That's for you, Ian. Next up, Salty Dalto. Um, we lost an American hero today. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, he was he was a nice guy. We lost the light <laughs> that keeps us going. We lost our purpose for traveling to Oregon. We the the leaves no longer have color. The air tastes stale. The food tastes like ash. There is nothing worth living for now that Salty Dalto has passed. Um, see, I was in fact, s- I for I for one think we should just jump in the next river Ooh. end it all see i wouldn't go that far i mean i know he did owe me five dollars um before he died so i assume i can just take it out of his pocket and it's like not like a weird thing like if i just take it if i, I just remove it now right like, well you wouldn't be offended by that right pete no of course not i i have no i have no ties to okay to the legend the, the man the myth the legend salty dalton okay well you know salty dalto uh was my 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 first in command um and he uh you know he, he used to he, call him that you know they used to, he used, they used to always to say um, first in command salty dalto he used that to was, say like the river life is like a river don't like, caulk and try to float across it instead pay the five dollars that's what he used to always say <laughs> to salty dalto it's like, it's like stepping back in time he used to always say that to us every morning for no reason at the saddle meetups <sighs> so we lost two great men today and Pete has a snake bite, so he's not doing great either. Um, but you know what? Uh, the show must go on. Uh, we'll, but you know what? Let's we'll rest in mourning. We'll rest two days in mourning for no, those you, who you have need lost. To, you need to rest at least fifteen days to pro- properly observe the passing. We need to sit. Shiva. Oh, you're already going. Oh wait, no, no, we're resting. We're resting. I thought we were resting. Um, I guess we're just going. <laughs> Didn't we rest? I don't know. But we're moving. You should probably. You should probably hunt. No yeah. grass for the oxen. Um, well, there's only two of us now, and we have 720. Oh, you should hunt. Dude, think about it. If you hunt now, you literally don't have to stop for anything. That's true. Oh, I think I got that. Wow, rabbit. how did you hit that rabbit? You know. were so far behind it. I think that's the key, oh, is to not well, aim I'm, at the rabbit. You're doing great. You brought back about tw- tw- 12 <laughs> 20 pounds, pounds of food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see here. Just waiting for any animals to pop up. There's another rabbit. Oh, there we go. Big buck. Oh, what? Oh, I got him. I got him. That's why he's laying there. I have yet to hit a, hit a squirrel ever. Okay. Listen, you got to lead him. You got to lead him, Ben. I know. Yeah. Oh, how many bullets he used this time? 20 bullets. 20 bullets. But I got 200, 200 pounds of food here, so we're good. Good. Um, let's rest again. Let's rest for five days. Um, five days I'm, I'm trying okay pete's well again see that's what all i all i needed all right so pete's well again we're just going to continue oh we're still resting i don't think i can adjust that so it's pete and i here we've traveled 1120 miles so far um we're we, about halfway there yes halfway there we've lost three of the five members of the party um all to drowning fun fact actually none <laughs> of them could swim not not a single one all to drowning and in uh, fact we should probably use this as a chance to establish a charity to teach people how to swim Ooh, look, we're coming across. Looks like a broken down wagon, maybe. Um, we've reached Soda Springs. That's what we've done. So we've reached Soda Springs. Look, ooh, look at the graphic. You see the fire is is going, and then the water is kind of doing this. Thing Welcome, traveler. This lake is full of Dr Pepper, and that one is Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten the journey. That by taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time and provisions is worth the risk, as is the lives of your party. <laughs> oh my, the soda springs are so pretty. It seems to spout out at regular intervals on account of the carbonation. It felt good to just rest and not be jostled on the wagon all day. When I get to Oregon, I'll have a soft feather bed and never sleep in a wagon again. Well, I would hope not. You'd have a home. My job know, every day 
<laughs> my job every day is <laughs> to find wood. You sounded like Igor. <laughs> my job every my day job every is day to cook. To find wood for the cook fire. Sometimes it's very hard to find enough. So I store extra pieces in a box under the wagon. It's very flammable. <laughs> On the prairie, I gathered buffalo chips to burn when there weren't any food. Oh, so he likes Fun fact. Buffalo did chips. Did you know buffalo chips is actually just chip? It's it's poop. They would burn dry oh. poop. Oh. So it's not yeah. like buffalo. So like, this, it's not like this kid chips. was this kid would run out and grab handfuls of crap and then store it under the wagon. Oh, isn't that burn. isn't that nice? Well, yeah. All right, child. Chips um, gives me the impression that they're, like, eating it, which is gross. So we're fair health right now, which means we might as well ship out here. So Pete and I, on the open road, just you and me, Pete. Just you and me. The two amigos. Two guys. One. All right, we lost the trail. Sorry, that was Pete. Two guys, Pete one had wagon, if you know what I mean. Oh, God. Huh? Pete had the map there, and lo we lost the trail. So that's good. You uh, you can see the fort. How did you <laughs> lose the trail? All right, we've reached hey, should we head fort towards Hall. that building? Nah, 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 nah. Go this way. Look, our health is good now. We haven't had good for like 500 miles. All right, we're at the fort. We'll talk to some people. Well, friend, Wait, this is where we, we still have. Do we still not have any clothes? Uh, let's check. Let's check the status on everything right now. So we've got 14 oxen. Oh, you have four you sets of clothes. Two sets of clothes, too many because three right. are dead. We could trade them, but yeah. I don't know. We can't like. To request trades like that. I mean, we're good on supplies. 125 bullets, three wagon wheels, two wagon axles, two wagon tongues, 838 pounds of food. We're doing all right. Let's talk to the locals here. Here, there's mountain sheep around here. Okay, you're saying okay. enough, enough water too, but <laughs> hardly a stick of wood. Thank heaven for Fort Hall. But I'm really sorry mm -hmm. to be saying goodbye to cousin Miles and all the folks heading to California. <laughs> Why, why are you telling going? us? Are we going to Oregon or California? We're going to Oregon, I think. But I think some people are going to California at this point. But maybe we're going yeah, to well, California. I, I say I say, Fort Hall is a busy fort. The wide stretches of meadow grass here are just what our tired animals need. I'll fix up the wagon leaks. Amanda's real anxious to wash all the clothes and linens in one of them clear streams are, over there. Are we supposed to know who he's talking about? Who's no Amanda? Idea. Who's Amanda? Who's Mandy, Amanda? Mandy died. Well, friend, this is where we part. I'm bound for California with an imposing desert to cross. And you, you've got the Snake River to cross, which I hear is no picnic. Writers, you or the missus. Just as you, as soon as you reach Oregon, ah, uh, did, so. did we make friends with this man? I don't, I don't. Know. Apparently, this guy's just like, this guy's like, hey, you and me, we're best friends. Remember to write me if you haven't died. And he said, like, you and the missus, hope you guys are doing all right. It's like, well, uh, well, you and Peter married now, so ooh, the trail is impassable. It says, what is that? So it's it's what June twenty eighth right now, so we're delayed. Maybe there was like a storm or something. What delayed. does that mean? Uh, June thirtieth. We're still delayed. Uh, okay. You might as well hunt. Uh, You're just eating. Okay. Yeah. Might as well. All right. Let's see what's out here. Show me the money. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, rabbit. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, another rabbit. Oh, it stutter stepped. Oh. 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 Oh, dude, they, they, dude, you gotta stop focusing on the rabbits. Focus on, on the big game. Okay, okay, big game, big game hunter. Oh, uh, sorry, right. they'll be, they'll be back. Don't even, don't even worry. Okay, don't even. Okay, what is that rabbit doing? Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh no, I'm. Uh, I, it, I think I shot my twenty. Uh, okay, let's, let's try again. <laughs> we got plenty of bullets. No, we don't. Uh, it's just me and Pete here. You know. Just me and Pete. Open road. Say hi to the missus for me. <laughs> Say hi to your mother. <laughs> All right. Nothing there. Here's my email. The Wi-Fi password <laughs> is on the back. Just waiting for an animal to show up here. Oh, no. I don't really care about a squirrel. That's not going to feed me. I'm a big boy. Oh, that same squirrel. Just running the back. The Wi-Fi. Same squirrel. <laughs> the internet name is I left my wife. I left my Wi-Fi in Oregon. <laughs> The password is cholera. Let's move over here. Oh, same Could you imagine now. if they had Wi-Fi back then? You are the worst hunter. I, I shot it good. in one shot. I assume you should <laughs> that... take that back. Well, I'm waiting for a bigger animal. I don't animal. think you used one shot. You said to wait for you a bigger animal. You shot like 30 bullets. I'm waiting. You probably wasted 30 bullets. I'm waiting for a deer or something. 
There's nothing out here. All right, there. Just rocks. Move on. All right. And how many pounds of food was that squirrel? Squirrel was one pound. And we used one, one bullet. Look, it says you used one bullet. Wow, I'm a one sh- one take Jake. Um, all right, let's continue on. We are moving. Or is it still, waiting? It's still impassable. Wait. Yeah. You're waiting. Dang. When are we? All right, July 4th now. I mean, what the hell's going on here? July 5th? Oh, there and we go. Now you're moving. All right, we're moving. July 5th. Trails impass or no grass for the oxen, and I think the trail's impassable again. July seventh. Okay. Go hunting. Go hunting. Why not? July oh, you're moving again. No, we're moving. We're moving. Bad water. Okay. What does that mean? What do you want me to do about it? No grass for the oxen. No grass. There's no grass, and it's bad water. Everything is bad. Health is fair. Oh man, we're coming up onto Ooh, a river here. Here we, here we go. Pete has the Wait. measles. Well, isn't that Pete. something? We'll stop at the. We'll stop at the river. Stop at the river and rest and try to get Pete healthy. Pete, Pete don't it. die. Pete, don't die. All right. Let's rest first. Let's rest for four days. We're, we've traveled yeah. 1,440 things have, miles. Things have gone from bad to worse here. I mean, yeah, if Pete's got the measles, and you got to assume that I might get the measles. Uh, I mean, let's see. Are here. the measles contagious? I don't know. We've had a vaccine invented. Yeah, so. for, for a long time now. So I, I really don't know. Pete still has the measles. I'm doing fair. You gotta cross that river now, dude, okay. before the water gets any higher. Hire an Indian to help for three sets Ooh. of clothes. Oh, dude, let's do that. Yes, do it. I don't know what that means. What are they gonna come up with? <laughs> I'll pull the river. I'll pull this across the river. I got this here motor. I'll put on the back of the the wagon and sail it across. All right. Thank you, Indian guy. Wow. I mean, we I don't need clothes. It. Uh, he was bitten by a snake, and he has the measles. Stop. So I'm, uh, I'm feeling poor. So let's let's rest for four days. Cause he's also hot. But Pete Pete was bitten by a snake and has the measles. Oh God, he is going to die. It's just going to be me. I'm the only one that's going to make it and live to tell the tale. All right, might as well go hunting. Um, because why not? You decided to hunt. Let's see. Don't. I waste don't care. Your bullet. I know. I don't care about squirrels. You gotta you. lure out the bigger game, okay? The squirrels are the the the, the scouts here. They're they're trying to they're gonna tell the. Okay, that was tough. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> That's tough. Uh, I don't care about rabbits. Yeah, I'm watching you, rabbits. Watching you. Okay, hey, well, apparently you hit the jackpot for squirrels and rabbits. There we go. <gasps> you gotta lead it. You gotta put oh, it in oh, front. Oh, look at this! Of... What is that? A bear? Oh my god! <laughs> and hunting. Shut up, Let's just take a look. We gotta take a look at how much meat that is. 117 oh, pounds the, of food. There was only 117 pounds of food? That's, that's weird. A, that's a big right. old bear. Oh. Right. So, Pete. Your health is fair again. Pete might be dead. I guess. I don't know. Rough I don't know. trail. Rough trail. No water. We're doing poor, but we're 51 miles away from this. We got some wild you fruit. You found some wild fruit. We're so close you to this like, landmark. You found like 40 pounds of wild fruit. Dude, Pete's well oh, again. Pete? Pete's a trooper. Let me tell you. You had a wagon wheel break, but we're able to replace it from supplies. All right, let's take a sec here. We made it to Fort Boise. We're 1,554 Boise. miles traveled. So we only have about 500 miles left. Well, you um, got two of everything still. You're good oh, to yeah, go. Oh, yeah, we're good man. there. Now, we do I need to I would probably rest. try to get another set of clothes, though. Okay, so maybe trade. One of, you is, one of you is naked, and it's probably Pete. Trade for a set of clothes. Uh, no, I'm not going to trade. Should we trade? Oh, that's a steep price there, kid. <laughs> yeah, kid. Uh, let's try one set of clothes here. We're trying to trade a set of clothes. No, the, the, the last guy Ow! wanted a wagon what axle. What are these pe- trying to get these wagon axles out of For us. an ox. For a whole ox. Well, think about this. Hey, kid. Dumb. Hey, kid, take a step back. Go f*** yourself. Stop, because 14, that is insane. We have 14 hey. oxen. What if I went to your house and said, I'll give you this shirt <laughs> for your dog? Uh, I, I, I understand. Let's see. 47 pounds yes. of food? Okay. Yes. Slap the table. That's a deal. All right, we need to rest because uh, health is poor. We'll do three days. We're at the end of July here. It's July 30th, 1848. It's getting, it's getting a little warm, you know? It's getting it's a little July. Hot. Where are we? I wish they had states that you could like figure out what state Again, you're in. The map is not I would, great. I would guesstimate Colorado. No, we're probably still, a little past Colorado. Our health is still poor. We're in Boise. We're in Idaho. Well, yeah, it's this Boise, is Idaho. Fort Boise. So I would assume it's Boise, Idaho, right? That's what. That's, that's where Boise. That's, is. 
That's called critical thinking. You can't teach that. All right, that's, so our health is back up to fair. So we might as well head out. Hey, keep it. Keep in mind this: we've been going at a breakneck pace the whole time. You need to hunt, dude. You think so? Pete's sick with typhoid fever. God damn it, Pete! Oh, here we go. Big buck. Get it together. I got, I got the big buck. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, you shot. About I'm surprised. Think times. about how many things Pete has had wrong with him. Recap I would how love many to things see... has gone wrong with him on the trip. Uh, Pete had exhaustion. Two bears. Boom. Pete had exhaustion. <sighs> Two Pete, bears. I uh, got a fever. Uh, Pete got the measles. Uh, Pete was bitten by a snake. And Pete has typhoid fever. If all those happened to me at one point in my life, I think I would probably write a book about perseverance <laughs> and survival and what that means to me. Should we? Do you think we should mess with our pace at all? No, dude. No? Grueling pace. I know. Our health is poor, though. I kind of want to get it up to fair. Before we... That's because one of you has typhoid. It takes an average of the two. I'm very scared that Pete's going to die. <laughs> I think. He... Yeah, but... I'm going to be left alone the on rations. the trail. The, the rations are filling, so he's eating a lot, All which right. means he should be able to work a lot. Here we go. August 13th here. Rough trail. An ox is sick. So, I mean, that ox is going to die, but we've got a billion of them. Heavy fog. Pete is well Pete again. Pete is well again. That's good. August 15th, right, August 16th up. here. Take a break. Go hunting. Take a break. Go hunting. There you go. We're only 400 miles from the finish. We got this. We're going to coast right in. Big bison. Oh. One oh, shot. Yeah, one, one shot, one kill. Four shots, one kill. There you go. Oh, I mean, that guy bobbed him. Oh, we, oh, look at it. Okay. There we go. Stun a step. Oh, way to be, man. I feel like that's just, enough. You killed an entire family. All right, so I just hunted there, collected some more meat here. 749 pounds of food. Uh, we're only able to carry 200 back. So we'll, we'll, let's take a second here. And, and and so where we are, let's see, is there anybody to talk to? Oh, there's some people here. Oh, oh that, you can do that at any point? Oh, my like, God. Looks like it. How many, yeah, three people. We followed the we edge followed. of the desert. from. Excuse, know, excuse me. Going. We followed the edge of the desert from Fort Boise to the forbidding wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadful Ooh. steep. Locking both wheels and coming down slow, we got down safe. Poor animals, no grass or water for days. What the? Were you not feeding your animals? I guess not. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <clears throat> the valley of the ground, wrong day, is the most beautiful sight I've seen in months. Water and graze in abundance. And if this valley is so fine, the Willamette must be twice as fine. We'll be sitting pretty in our new homestead. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> since crossing Nothing. The, since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been <laughs> just mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day. Six, Six inches, inches of time, dust? At times. Get, a, get a Swiffer, my man. No tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked on the dust after swimming in the river, then bled and died. Wait, right, why is it sharing. related to swimming in the river? Dude, we're so that's, close. We're so, so freaking weird. close. The trail is impassable. Te Pete has dysentery now. God, Pete. He's inheriting every disease that was meant for the entire party. You've reached Grand Ronde. Okay, so we've reached here. It, we're, it's August 19th. Let's risk three days rest here. We're getting close. We're only like about 300 miles from the finish. We are so close. Yeah, we're close. I There's a couple. We have so much food too. <laughs> let's go, see. Go, uh, go. See, see who you can talk to. Okay. Let's see. Is this the one? Yeah. This is this is no, people we already is... talked to. Yeah, we already talked. Oh, uh, we talked to them before we got to the. Maybe they were with us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're the only people here. Uh, all they right. They must stay away from our wagon. Well, we like, want to take the shortcut. You've had. Yes. Yeah. All right, so we're taking a shortcut here. We're just moving along, moving along. No grass for the oxen. That's fine. We got a billion of them. Moving along here. Pete is well again. That's great. Good to hear, Pete. There we go, Pete. Way to be, kid. Way to be. Oh, now I got another river coming up, though. 1,800 miles traveled so far. No go. grass for the yeah. oxen. Let's time right, out. You guys aren't eat. Let's hunt yeah. real quick. Let's see what, what we got out of here. Ooh. Oh. This is good. There we go. Oh, I'm not, I'm like now seeing where the bullet is going. 
Um, How have you not been? You gotta lead them. Yeah, you gotta put it in front of. Oh, well, when they do that, it's kind of hard. Let me move over here. We're hunting Dude, here. That was like, oh, I used was, all twenty. That was an entire fleet of deer. I know. Like, hundred five pounds of food. That's fine. So yeah, you're fine. let's check our status. So just to recap where we're at, people, we started with five members of the party. We started with Mr. We RWP, two. Salty Dalton, Mandy, Pete, and Ian. Mandy, first to die. We were about four days into she, the journey. She drowned in six feet of water. Drowned in the first river we came across. Yeah, um, 100%. And then uh, Salty Dalton and Ian lasted for quite a while. We came across another river maybe halfway through the journey, and uh, they also drowned. We had no money for a ferry. Um, yep. And they that, drowned. That river was actually only five feet. We probably should have tried to wade through it. We wouldn't have drowned, I don't think. And then uh, Mr. RWP, which is me and Pete, are still alive. And we're 1,825 miles traveled so far. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. We've reached the Dales. Look, there's the Dales. Oh, is this? Oh, I keep thinking that's Dallas. Yeah, I know. It looks like Dallas. Let's let's talk. Let's see if anybody's around. My cousin Lydia engaged passage down the Columbia with Indians. A canoe with 17 people and luggage. The wind blew so heavy they had to lay by. Near dark, high waves came up over their heads. What? So the waves? This is a river. This is a river, right? <laughs> Finally, they made like it this... to shore safely. Well, I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road. I bargain at twice the price. Until last year, the Overlander <laughs> had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now, with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. That's probably where we're going, is Oregon City. Yeah. I guess would be. Do we want to take the road? These last hundred miles to the Williamette Valley are the roughest, either rafting down the swift and turbulent Columbia River or driving your wagon over the steep Cascade Mountains. Hire an Indian guide if you take the river. By the way, I don't think we have any money. Ooh, we have one I don't think we have any money either. So, so, I think we... Oh my, this is this is the big one. This is the raft down the oh, river. Oh, wait, thing. a tall road? We don't have any money. Yeah, so this is the one where we raft. All right, all right, dude, I... Ben, let me ask you this. Are you confident in your rafting ability? I can do this. Oh, you've already started. You've already started. I can okay. do this. I believe in myself. Okay. So it's... it's. All right. Let's stay away from the rocks there. Oh, should I go all the way over here? Or should I... No. No, I'm gonna, no. Ooh. I'm going to go right... No, just play it Play it by ear. You're okay. fine. Okay. All right. Slight it. Slight... Oh, my gosh. Okay. 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 Yeah, all right. Oh, this is... This is... Uh, I should have gone all the way to the right. But I think I got this. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, dude, there's a lag, so... Did you just crash? No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm still oh, alive. There's, a, there's like a huge lag, so I just saw it disappear. <laughs> no, we're good. I'm still, oh, dude, I'm still dude, traveling dude, down dude, the dude, river. Dude, 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 dude. Watch no. out, you're kind of close to that rock. No, 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 we're good, we're good. Oh, my God, we're getting... We're, we're doing well. Dude, We're almost. I'm almost at the end. Oh, man. I'm almost at oh, the man. end. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're almost at the landing. We just stay away Ooh, from those rocks. We can do it. We can do it. We're there. We're there. We're home stretch. Home yeah, stretch. This baby. has got to be it. Yeah. Oh, this has easy. Okay. Just coast it. Hit autopilot. Cruise control. Congratulations. You have reached the Williamette Valley. Look, there's Jesus. The little yeah, baby that down does, there. Yeah, that does look a <laughs> lot like Jesus. Oh, look at Are that. Are we going to talk about that? Beautiful sight to behold. Also, is his head up here or up here? No, there's his face. Okay. And then he's what is that little cornflower looking? Is that an afro? What is that? What does he have here in his hand? Is that a pistol or a stick? And then there's it's this guy like over a... here. Um, so we've reached the Wayman Valley. Oh, here we go. So we've arrived on August 29th, 1848, and received Trail the Legends. following number of points. Two people arriving in fair health. health Look, 400 if we had, points if each. If we had all five, oh, man. We would five set a times world record. four, we, that'd be 2,000 points right off the bat. One wagon. Uh, 50 points. 14 oxen times 4, 56 points. Um, 6 spare wagon parts times 2, 12 points. 2 sets of clothing, 4 points. 54 bullets divided by 50, 1 point. Oh, so we were... Sp oh, dude. Yeah. We were supposed to use our food. We have so much leftover food. That's why we lost so many points. I don't know. It's a 1,050 pounds of food divided by 25. Okay, Ben, if we had 25 pounds of food divided by 25, what does that get us? Oh, one. Well, then I don't understand. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. so you do want more food. Okay. One dollar yeah, divided takes by a five portion is zero. Of because it doesn't want to give us a thousand points. Oh, okay, I got you. And then saddle maker bonus times two and a half. So two thousand four hundred and thirteen. Mr. RWP. Congratulations, you made it onto Oregon Trail list of legends. Oh, dude, let's see. We're, it's, we're, let's see the flippy thing. Do we? Do name. we beat our other one? Yeah, let's see. Here we go. We're waiting to see. We're waiting to see. Can you believe like this? That might be a pretty good feat if you think about it, because like thousands of people have played this game. Oh yeah. Doesn't it? Doesn't it flip at some point so I can see the trail of, or the Should. the legends? Give it time. I'm sure it sure it is, maybe. How long? Wasn't this the screen? What this maybe happen? reload it. Okay, okay. Oh, there it is, there it is. Mr. RWP, number five, baby! Number five! Wow, we're we under Selene de Easily. <laughs> we wow. could have we could have cracked the top three if Man. we had kept everyone alive. <sighs> That's huge. That's a big oh, win. I'm, I'm gonna take oh actually I'll take a screenshot of it when I do the recording. When I do the uh, the video stuff. I'll take a screenshot of that and that will be that. Wow. The RW the Random Word Podcast has just placed fifth in the all-time leaderboard for the Oregon Trail Deluxe version under archive.org. Wow. That's got to be that's, that's pretty big. It is big. It is big. I'll I'll go through we'll, we'll go through the other games uh off air. I don't want them to have to Does watch Does it have any stats? This. Scroll sc scroll down there. Scroll Oh, uh, oh okay. let's see. On I here. meant like yeah. Does it have any like usage stats here? Oh, uh, as far as how many people play the game and stuff. Um, yeah. So one million two hundred forty six thousand four hundred six views. Um, so I assume those yeah. are probably people playing the game. Yeah, dude, that's pretty wild. Think about that. Number, number five out of a million. That's, Is it that that's, hard? That's really good. I feel like it's I feel pretty like we had a really game. rough go of it. I mean, last night we, I mean, we were just messing around and we got all the way to the end with like almost everybody. If I hadn't screwed up the river crossing. Yeah, dude, think about that. We, oh, man, wow. think about that. Think about that as you fall asleep tonight. Oh, I how, will. How bad? I will. How bad you messed up on that? Look well, we Mr. RWP and Ben, we made wow. it on there twice. Twice and, represented, and we're we're greenhorns, which means we've probably only we played it two times. Two times. So and made the top ten twice. I mean, I feel like if we so. just dedicated our lives to this, we would be. Well, we should really try to take over every single spot on the leaderboard. It's either that or there are like a million other people that are literally struggling to decide between eating breakfast or biting a rock. Wow. Wow. Well, that's we, pretty good. We appreciate you guys joining us on that journey. We're going to take a look around here and see if maybe there's some other uh, games and this is to where, be played. Where we, this, is, this is where we pause the video. Um, yes. We play the sad song and then the names of all the deceased scroll through the top of the screen right so right okay like like see he, here comes mandy yep. oh there she goes okay and yeah, yeah, yeah there's ian and there's salty dalton oh and uh, then salty dalton comes back down there's some special effects that oh, okay. go around it <laughs> and then it goes back up i am the one who edits the video so this will be good 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 work for me um, so, so yeah. people we will salty dalton and i again we're just trying to bring you some different content or would it here. appear over there would it appear over there? Over where? No, I think it'd be funnier if it scrolls. It scrolls on up. Only yeah, yeah, my yeah. screen. No, it'll scroll. Only on my screen, though. Just uh, on mine, though. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. We're trying to give you guys some different sorts of content here during the quarantine. Trying to, uh, we know you guys are, are probably bored out of your minds, but uh, you're on your computer anyway. Exactly. If, if you are lucky enough to telework. If you are not lucky enough to telework and you are going into work, you are a brave soul. You are essential. You are on the front lines. For sure. And... For sure. We appreciate it. Oh, you froze just in the yes. middle of a great point. Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, well, people, yeah, we uh, will something on I will we'll take a look at some other games and maybe try to um, do some more of these coming up in the near future. Please subscribe. Please uh, leave a review. And please, uh, please, please <laughs> yeah. like, like and, uh, subscribe and subscribe to our channel, <laughs> RWP. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. If you're and watching on YouTube, don't forget to drop a comment. <laughs> We appreciate it, people, and and go go do your own Oregon Trail uh, journey here. It's just on archive.org. So it's, it's free. Yeah. You can just play it in your browser. Go go. Ben, uh, question: how, how much do you think fourteen oxen go for nowadays? Four, I'm gonna Google the price. Fourteen of an oxen? oxen. I mean, 
I had honestly have no idea because I I just know nothing about a pair of plow ready oxen. Okay. Cost about three thousand dollars, roughly oh, the same man. as a second hand tractor. If you can buy young younger cattle at about one hundred and fifty dollars each, but we're talking about fourteen oxen. So divided by two is seventy. I mean seven. Oh my god. So <laughs> Shady three thousand times seven, twenty one thousand dollars in in today's dollars is wow. what we spent on those oxen. That's like a Lexus, <laughs> dude. We could have. Man, if only they had. There was a modern version of this game, and then we would have had so much more money. We're there's. I'm telling you, there's a couple different versions of Oregon Trail that we we can take a look at. There's. I want to see what the Jungle Trail looks like. I want to take a look at that. But Let's, uh, after we after we finish yeah. recording here, yeah, you yeah, and me will we'll, hop we'll, on we'll that take one. A look. All right, people, we appreciate it. Keep uh, listening to the show. We'll keep bringing you some more content. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Sayonara, yep. my sweet suckers. We, Audi.